Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a bit of work on expanding our ability to receive and experience miracles by clearing some of our karmic imprints. This is a follow along exercise and I'm doing it as an experiment. So I'd like you to do this with your eyes closed. Obviously, if you're driving a car or doing something like that, please don't close your eyes and instead come back to this later. First, I would like you to take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose to lower your heart rate and calm your nervous system. Now in your mind, think back to one to three of the most recent events that caused you to feel a great intensity of either anger, sadness, or fear, or an event where you felt either abandoned, rejected, or abused in some way. This event doesn't have to be in your past. It could also be something that's affecting you here and now. Perhaps there could have been a difficult relationship with a spouse, another family member, a friend, or a business relationship. Perhaps there was a situation where you experienced financial distress Or perhaps there was a major physical health challenge that caused you great suffering. I'll just give you a moment to consider that. Now, Let's focus on the greatest source of suffering, the most intense, the most observable of unmovable objects. It could be the top two or all three of them, whichever feels right for you right now. And then we're holding that source in your awareness, that source of suffering. And we're going to start doing some clearing here. We're going to use phrases that start with the words, I am so sorry. And we're going to use the word you a lot. I'm going to say something like, I'm so sorry, you're sad. And when you say the phrase, you're also going to say the word you, you're sad. You're not saying I'm sad. You're saying the words, you are sad. It's as if you're standing outside of yourself as your highest self, shining light, love and compassion back to yourself today or to any and all wounded parts inside that need that compassion. So you are saying you, you are your highest self talking to your wounded parts. So I invite everyone while holding in your awareness, those one or more sources of suffering to now take a full, nice breath and focus on your heart center and solar plexus and say these phrases out loud after me. I'm so sorry you couldn't receive the miracle. I'm so sorry you couldn't receive the whole miracle. I'm so sorry you couldn't receive the whole miracle all at once.
I'm so sorry you couldn't fix that part of your life. I'm so sorry you couldn't remove that source of suffering. I'm so sorry you couldn't have what you want. I'm so sorry you couldn't experience the joy of completion in form. I'm so sorry you were trapped in an imperfect life. Okay, good. So what we're doing here is we're dissolving karmic imprints so that when our soul's light is passing through the lens of our physical expression, it can shine through clearly instead of being distorted. Our soul's highest expression is to be able to receive the miracle. It's being able to receive the whole miracle, whether that miracle is inner well-being, harmonious relationships, or some form of external manifestation forming in the physical. Okay, now let's do some more clearing. So I invite everyone to take a nice full breath. And again, focus on your heart center and solar plexus. I'm so sorry, the miracle you needed never came. I'm so sorry, God abandoned you. I'm so sorry, everyone abandoned you and left you behind. I'm so sorry, no one came back for you. I'm so sorry, they didn't love you enough to come back for you. I'm so sorry, you weren't important enough to be saved. I'm so sorry, you couldn't save yourself. I'm so sorry you are powerless. I'm so sorry there was no hope. I'm so sorry there was nothing to be done. I'm so sorry there was no point in trying. I'm so sorry hope and effort were futile. I'm so sorry you felt foolish for hoping. I'm so sorry you felt foolish for trying. I'm so sorry you're sad. I'm so sorry it had to end that way. I'm so sorry you had so many unrealized dreams. I'm so sorry you never got to live the life you knew you were meant for. I'm so sorry you're confused and couldn't understand how that happened. I'm so sorry life in this world doesn't make any sense.
I'm so sorry things don't work here the way they're supposed to. I'm so sorry things don't work here the way you want them to. I'm so sorry you weren't really prepared for this life and this place. I'm so sorry you can't go back and do it all over again. I'm so sorry you're sad. I'm so sorry it's not safe to feel the depth of sadness that's really there. I'm so sorry there's more sadness than you know how to feel. I'm so sorry you were alone with that sadness. I'm so sorry there was no one to share your sadness with or who could take it away for you. I deserve big miracles. I deserve big miracles. Now I'd like you to take stock of those memories you had focused upon. How do you feel about them now? Has your perception of them shifted at all? Okay. I'd like to thank you all for helping yourselves by bringing light into your darkness. In doing so, you are making the world a better place for yourself and all of those around you. Also for the entire world the entire galaxy and ultimately the entire universe. Many blessings and much love.